Here we're asked to solve and graph this linear inequality in two variables. The first step with these is to graph the boundary. So the boundary is going to be this line right here, 2x minus 4y equals negative 8. And it'll be easy to graph this but using the x and y intercepts. Okay, to get the x intercepts, remember y has to be 0. So when y is 0, you're left with 2x equals negative 8. In other words, x equals negative 4. Okay, so the x-intercept here is negative 4, comma 0. To find the y-intercepts, that's when x is equal to 0. So in other words, when is negative 4y equal to negative 8? That occurs when y is equal to 2. So the y-intercept is 0, comma 2. Two points determine a line, so now let's go ahead and graph that up. Okay, here's a blank coordinate system, so let's plot the x-intercept, negative 4, comma 0, and the y-intercept, 2, comma 0, two points to determine a line. And since the original had the equal there, that's inclusive, that means any ordered pair on the line is going to be part of the solution set. To indicate that, I'm going to use a solid line for the boundary. Now, step number two is to test an ordered pair to see which region to shade. Should we shade above or should we shade below? It's always easiest to shade the origin 0, 0. Uh, test the origin, that is. Okay, so let's plug that in. 2 times 0 minus 4 times 0. The question is, is that going to be less than uh, negative 8? Well, on the left side here, it comes out to 0. Is 0 less than negative 8? Well, no, right? 0 is greater than negative 8, so that's actually a false statement. So what is that telling me? That tells me here the origin is not part of the solution, so I cannot shade the region below the line. I'm going to shade the region above the line. So any ordered pair in this region up here should solve the original inequality, including the boundary. Go ahead and try it. 